Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we displayed the output in ALV grid format. Now, what we will do in this video, for this field catalog part, for this field catalog part, rather than writing the logic in the continuous manner, we created a field catalog of six column rather than writing the logic in the continuous manner. For this particular part, I will use the modularization technique sub routine. As of now, this topic is not available as a part of a PAP programming playlist. But in the future, subroutine topic will be available as a part of a BAP programming playlist also. Because if you check the BAP programming playlist, we have includes and function modules are available, but subroutine is not available. And usual ABAP class method is available as a part of ABAP object-oriented programming playlist, ABAP OOPS playlist. But here we will cover the subroutine topic in such a way that if you have the knowledge or if you do not have the knowledge, that will not make any difference. We will cover the full explanation based upon our current requirement. So you will get the maximum idea of subroutine here itself in this particular requirement. Now, what is subroutine? We all know subroutine is also a modularization technique. With the help of that, we will divide our code into small, small modules small small parts now now the first important point there is no separate transaction code to create a subroutine what is the meaning of this point suppose simple example when we created the function module we have a separate tool we have a separate transaction code that is sc37 but whenever we will go for subroutine, there is no separate transaction code. Suppose when we created the global usual ABAP class, we have a separate transaction code or tool that is SC24. But in case of subroutine, there is no separate transaction code or tool. We need to create in the ABAP editor itself means here itself we will create the subroutine now what is the syntax for the subroutine i will come to this point after that what is the syntax for the subroutine every subroutine starts with a keyword perform so whenever we will start creating the subroutine the first keyword which we will always, always write is perform. If someone asks you what is the how subroutine starts, subroutine always starts with a keyword perform. After that, we need to give some name to the subroutine. You can give any name. It is totally, totally your wish. Suppose I gave get underscore data. You can give set underscore data. You can give the data. You can give get any name you can give to the subroutine. It is totally your wish. Now, after that, we have three things. First one is tables parameters. This tables is a keyword. Tables parameters. Then we have using parameters. And then we have changing parameters. So whenever we will go for creation of the subroutine, we will go in such a way. What is the syntax? Perform name of the subroutine, 
then we have tables parameter then we have using parameters then we have changing parameters first i will start with the practical you will automatically get the idea of tables using and changing parameters now the next important part we can never never change the sequence sequence is always tables using and changing what is the meaning of this i cannot write in this way i cannot say using changing tables it is never never the case i cannot say changing tables using no the sequence is always always tables using and changing i can never never change the sequence now if some parameters are not applicable you can skip that part suppose i am saying tables parameters are not applicable then we can go for simply using and changing if tables and using are not applicable changing is only applicable then we can simply go for changing if something is not applicable if some parameters are not applicable you can skip but you cannot change the sequence it is always tables using changing this is what it is mentioned we cannot change the sequence of tables using changing if any of them is not required we can skip that part now i will come to this fourth point what is the fourth point every sub routine starts with form and ends with end form suppose simple example this is our syntax whenever we will create this sub routine we will simply simply go for form get underscore data and we have the end form and in between this form and end form we will write our code or we will write our logic this is the case guess any way practical we start you will get the idea we will create the sub routine we will give this kind of syntax once we will double click system will ask us do you want to create the sub routine whenever we will create the sub routine we will get form and end form and in between this form and end form we will write the logic now we will understand this particular case for this particular case we need to go for the creation of sub routine whenever i will start with the practical part you will understand how effectively sub routine is handling this particular case now if you see in all the six columns of the field catalog we are going for what column position done field name done selection text done we are always always using three things but three things we are using column position field name and selection text and all these three things we are passing to which internal table field catalog internal table just see you will get the complete idea and this is real project work in the real projects you will realize how modularization technique you can use how sub routine modularization technique effectively you can use you can see we are always always going for three using column position field name selection text and we are always always changing we are always passing the data to which internal table field catalog internal table yes the values are changing this time column position 1 next time column position 2 this time field name vbeln this time field name postnat this time selection text sales document number this time selection text your item number 
but using our same we have three using thing three using thing column position field name selection text and we have how many changing thing one changing thing because ultimately you are passing that data to which internal table lt underscore field cat now if you see this particular subroutine syntax perform get underscore data tables parameter using parameter changing parameter as of now in our current requirement there is no tables parameter applicable we have using and changing what do you mean by using parameter means you are using the values of which parameters we are using this value we are using this value we are using this value it means we are using the values of these three parameters and which parameter you are changing which internal table parameter you are changing we are changing this particular internal table because every time the record is going to this internal table so we are changing this internal table so whenever we will create a subroutine so we have how many using thing we have three using thing and we have how many changing thing we have one changing thing so what is using using means what are the various values but which parameter values you are using in that particular case and changing means yes we are changing the value of which parameter in our current case we are using these three and we are changing this particular internal table so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we simply studied the module we simply studied the introduction of modularization technique subroutine we will learn based upon our current requirement only because in the app programming playlist you will see more you will see other scenarios also but based upon our current scenario yes but we studied yes subroutine modularization technique it always always there is no separate transaction code we need to create in the abap editor itself what is the syntax for the subroutine perform perform name tables using changing tables parameters using parameters changing parameter whenever we will create the subroutine whenever we will double click on the subroutine name we will get form and end form in between form and end form we will write the logic we can never alter the sequence of tables using changing if something is not applicable we can skip that particular parameters and based upon our current requirement we have how many using parameter 3 column position field name selection text we have how many changing parameter this internal table is our changing parameter in the next video we will create the subroutine and we will see how subroutine effectively handle this particular field catalog